Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivangsh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. All right. So today's download that I have for you is that um, some of you are uh, like kind of uh, trying to learn to add value to your own existence and your own life that's what I'm feeling and and oh, okay universe is saying that oh downloads are coming like this father give me some break slowly all right so I am getting bombarded with so many random uh, thoughts coming all right pouring in so you might be also having a lot of uh, thoughts coming and you really don't know what to believe what to not what to pick what to choose what to let go you have some kind of um, you know like kind of tussle with your random thoughts that's coming because you are not able to be sure of like uh, with what you need to go all right i mean what is coming and what you need to go with you are going through that and rebirth process right now and universe is asking you to you know pay very close attention to your random thoughts because this thoughts has some kind of information some messages or some answers that you have been looking for all right you have been asking to your father in heaven and father is already giving you those thoughts so that you are very sure of what you want in your life and you don't end up manifesting something that you don't want all right so universe is giving you information so that you very well know what you truly want in your life and you stay committed dedicated convinced about what you truly want and be determined about that and keep charging ahead it be it in your relationship be it in your job sphere be it in your career perspective finances or you have new ideas going on or you have some new ventures you are thinking about what to do what not whether to go with it or or just let it go then this informations are coming and universe is asking you to please please pay attention to that so that you don't end up manifesting something that you truly don't want so you have to uh, do that crunching of your mind to understand what you are wanting in your life where you will end up at the end because if you have a thought or a dream or a desire or a wish about which you really don't know how it is going to pan out in the few, in the near future right you have no idea whatsoever so universe is asking you to be very very vigilant about what you are asking for be very sure about what you are asking for because you have to know that there are consequences of what you are asking all right so be very very mindful i see that you have asked father about a spiritual companion who will understand you who will uh, notice you who will appreciate you respect you be loyal to you honest dedicated whatever you can think of in a soulful way you are looking for that and i'm seeing that uh, you have a spiritual partner in this lifetime and will be aligned to you when will be the when uh, okay when the time will be right when you are aligned with your energies all right so i'm coming and 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 bringing all the energy updates uh, in, uh as per the jodics as per the uh, collective psychic messages so please 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 the energy at this point in time is very very um very aggressive energy all right and this aggressive energy may l l help may let you fall prey to certain decisions that you are not supposed to take so father is asking you not to take decisions in three circumstances of your life when you are in rush don't take decision when you are very much emotional all right don't take uh, decision and when you are very much angry don't take any decision all right so no matter what take time but don't take any decision that is made out of aggressiveness or or something has hurt your ego don't try to run away or don't try to start a war with your aggression all right because this energy is very aggressive energy my dear so you got to understand all right so you have to bring your energy into an alignment of your own system uh and 
that will complement your dreams and desires that you are hoping for and wishing for and praying to your father in heaven all right and this is a very very strong message why i am coming with this information for you is that i really got a download and i wrote it down don't manifest anything that you cannot handle and father has asked me to share a life experience of mine with you so that you understand what exactly i'm trying to say so please pay attention to this um my own life experience that i'm uh, going to share with you all right uh, that will help you understand i'm a divorcee all right and i got divorced about 2013 12 going on yeah 2023 so i got divorced about 13 14 years back all right but when i was about to get married to this uh, my ex husband there were uh, you know the first moment his in laws my, my in-laws saw me they rejected all right they said because i was from a different caste he was from a different caste we were we had age difference he was five years younger to me i was five years elder to him so uh, what happened is that his uh, parents uh, disagreed to this marriage all right but my would-be husband that time was so adamant so uh, you know uh, kind of stubborn that he he left his home for three days you know slept on uh, in slept in the railway station for three days because of Mia for me all right and it was just very newly we started our relationship just not even a month that there uh, his parents got to know about our connection all right and then there was this big war uh, because of this uh, communal differences religious difference uh, not religious differences we are Hindu but uh, you know this caste system and all these things are there in India all right so he was serious um, about getting married to me only say the same thing to his parents all right parents disagreed all right but then he left his home for three days slept in uh, in the railway station i at my end started to do all the puja and worship and everything and i did some rituals all right to please god so that my relationship with my ex-husband uh, can come uh, uh, we can come in union all right we can get married all right so i did rituals for 21 days um, and with utmost dedication all right somebody told me that do like this and god will be pleased and i was like okay i i did that and i did with so much of conviction and determination that i actually um, uh, please god and believe in me within 21 days of my finance that I was doing you know for this marriage to uh, you know and during this time I had no idea trust me about whatsoever about I did not even understood the word manifest that time I did not even uh, had any idea about this word uh, just imagine 18 19 years back all right so now what happened is that um, when I completed my ritual and their uh, his parents uh, agreed to meet me, all right, because his uh, their son was also stubborn, he wanted to get married to me. So finally, they said, okay, uh, let's get married, all right. Let's talk to the families. Then family talk happened, and finally, <clears throat> a date was fixed. And the same very same year, we got married. Within five months of starting the relationship. Um, talk happened families met marriage happened and i please god with my finance rituals and everything and uh, just two days prior to my marriage my ex-husband landed up saying something to me and i said i don't want to get married to you i want to uh, call off this marriage and he was on my knees and begging on me like kind of oh it's a kind of a reputation of my father how, how, how people will uh, you know react to this uh, uh, thing you know everything is organized you know everything is done just two days to go for our marriage and you are calling off the marriage right now how people are going to react what about my father's honor and pride and all those thing was all blackmailing was going on but somewhere i was like kind of and then I am not a person who will, who is kind of uh, would like to take away somebody's honor and pride and all because of a decision like that. And I contemplated on it for about three hours. He was crying and I said, OK, fine. Then I agreed. But there was something, you know, but I had no idea whatsoever at that point in time what this something means and what this inner calling is and the, I, and the signs and synchronicities that is coming towards me and I should pay attention to. And I did not. And then that's how what happened is that uh 
even during on the day of marriage my husband showed some attributes of him which i was not aware of certain things that he said i was not aware of before because we did not get much time to know each other which just happened like that and <clears throat> that time also even till the last round of that uh, the ritual that we do in hindu like seven rounds of the fire calling out the lords and goddesses gods and goddesses and when going through all this thing i realized there were certain things i did not realize the, that those were signs and synchronicities of the divine to call of the marriage even now also but i was like you know just going on going on going on the entire fire was blown off it was all smoke inside the community center inside the banquet hall everybody was having tears in their eyes everybody had to walk out of the community hall because of the fire that i was taking round it was all blown off there was no fire it was just smoke and it was during the winter time so there was no cooler ac fan was working uh, not uh, switched on so there was something chaotic uh, on the day of my marriage all right and after four years of my marriage, I got divorced. I lost three children during this process, all right? Nobody understood my pain. I was thrown out of my in-law's house. And uh, within six months of our, not even six months, September, we got divorced in 2010. And 17 November, he already got engaged. And by February next year, he already got uh, married to another woman. And I'm still single. Are you getting me what I'm trying to say? this is why i shared this life experience of mine with you so that you understand what exactly you are manifesting and pay attention to the red flags the signs and synchronicities if i had that much of a knowledge at that point in time then i for sure would not have uh, backed uh, uh, out of my own decision i would not have come out of my own decision i would have stick to my decision uh, irrespective of how i am feeling all right today when i look back uh, you know 18 years from now that particular day when I decided to get married and the circumstances that I was associated with and the way I forced God to please you know listen to my prayer and God, God was also forced by my prayers to please do uh, what I, I want uh, for myself but God knew it that it was not good for me because he could see that seven years three years uh, four years this marriage will stay I will be losing children after ch child after child and there will be so much of chaos in my life but I was no I was like okay keep charging keep charging I was like that right why I shared with you this information because you need to know what you are manifesting in your life my dear don't force anything all right just calm down pull back a little see it from a different perspective and understand even you know you have to understand this why God is bringing this challenge into your life be it in any XYZ um, um, situations of your life pertaining to relationship family dynamic job dynamic financials finance finances dynamic or whatever it is universe is asking you to please please uh, pay very close attention to everything all right because at the end you have no idea whatsoever what you are manifesting and where you are you are going to land up so don't force god uh, you know in a way that you will regret later look at my situation that's why i shared this and i wrote it down all right i generally don't share nobody probably knows that i'm a divorcee and i have gone through this because i have never shared about my life with anybody but look at me you know i am a woman who has lost you know in the last 20 years you can say i am a person who has been losing 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 all right so if i would not have taken that decision i would have been somebody else by now because that time i was a business entrepreneur all right i had a well set up business here and i was doing good in my life i had to close off my business because just to get married to this man and i had financial losses you know i had so much of disaster after that one after the other followed me since the time i closed off my business my bungalow was gone my car was gone my jewelries are gone 
everything was gone i was on road all right just one particular decision of mine has then turned my life upside down all right so from there i'm coming back so you can understand what i have gone through and i am sharing this experience with you so that you also understand my dear beautiful soul tribe that be very very careful and watchful and mindful about what you are asking from god see all the all the possibilities uh, if there is any loophole all right or or the strength of uh, something all right or, or or the power of something that you are asking about okay be it in job like for example you you want a job very desperately probably god has a master plan for you where you have some kind of creativity and god is trying to bring your focus into this creative side of you so that you don't waste your time in a job that you are not at all pleased right now are you getting me what i'm trying to say so you got to be very very vigilant very very mindful and watchful about what you exactly you are trying to manifest in your life so don't try to manifest anything that you cannot handle later on my dear all right trust me on that so look at look at where i am today all right it has cost me everything it truly has cost me everything all right and i don't any one of you to cost even a needle in your life trust me even a safety pin in your life all right but you can understand what you have been uh, putting at stack for so long you know hoping and praying and uh, and wishing for you know crying about uh, but are you very sure what you are crying about? Are you very sure about what you are asking from the universe is really good for you? That's your question. Today is your job, my dear, my father in heaven. Our father in heaven is asking us to please my child. Pay attention to what you truly want. Stay committed and dedicated to that without any fickle mind. All right. And keep charging ahead. But if you have even an ounce of doubt about what you are doing in your life, what you are asking in your life, then please pull back, look from a different perspective, check all the loopholes, uh, all the possibilities, all the possible outcomes that it can have, and then take a decision. That's why I told you don't take decisions in three circumstances or instances like when you are angry don't take any decision when you are in rush don't take any decision and when you are too much emotional crying and you're just blocking somebody sending message out of um, uh, emotion all right and taking a hasty decision don't do anything like that out of feet of range in anger in ego in arrogance and attitude or don't take any or you are just rushing in and you're making some decisions don't do like that all right so be very very mindful and watchful about this and that's the muscle message that i have got for you so let me see what card has to say <clears throat> temperance all right there you have to find your balance my dear you have to find your balance with your divine masculine and feminine energy because i am feeling that uh, some of you are actually manifesting something wrong in your life some way shape or form just because you are not understanding your masculine and feminine energy and you don't understand your true uh, wishes true desires all right which, which will truly make you content happy um, you know uh, harmonious within make you feel connected with yourself all right so you have to please my dear please please today sit and contemplate on it and, and you know to whom i'm speaking all right you all know to whom i'm speaking that's why you are here till now all right so you are asked by the universe to be more vigilant observant and watchful about your own self so that you know what you want in your life so that you can make the right choice make the right decisions hence you can create a wonderful destiny for yourself all right and come out of the cyclical loop in the cycle all right and some of you have your spiritual partner once you are aligned once you find your twin flame within you once you find your divine masculine and feminine within you that's when a spiritual partner will be aligned for you all right that's when a spiritual partner will be aligned for you first the key word for you is find your own balance okay and don't manifest anything that you cannot handle all right and any one of you please are looking forward to have a consultation from me study your natal chart looking into your placements because we are going through heavy placements right now all right especially mars mercury saturn and jupiter and venus rahu ketu i mean all the 12 planets are going haywire nine planets that is visible to us 
in the sky but three planets pluto neptune and uranus behind these nine planets are doing major roles my dear so if any one of you wants to know your placements and wants to have a natal chart study time to time you should do that and if you are looking forward to then please reach out to me all right the details are in the description box below until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye